There's the beep. What is going on, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Blowfish Battle Network. Today, we are going to be doing another, our second Blowfish breakdown. It has been far too long. Uh, I got I got a headset. It took me forever to figure out how to get it to work, but I've got it working. Hopefully, sound quality is finally going to get a lot better. I have tested it before I started uploading, so I know there's going to be sound. I'm going to double check. I'm going to triple check it before I upload it to YouTube. Last time I did this, I thought I was doing it right, and I was wrong. It ended up having no sound. Today, if you haven't seen already over here, we're going to be breaking down a few NU Pokemans, everybody's favorite NU Pokemon, the ones I see more than anything, except for one. I really like uh, one, and I'm not breaking it down how everybody runs them. As you may have noticed in the last video, change the camera angle. There it is. I forgot to do that. What we do with the Blowfish Breakdown, is what makes it different from a typical team builder, if you missed the first one, is I'm going to be breaking this down, how I would run this Pokemon in a setup and in online battling and all that jazz. So, today we're going to be breaking down a Scyther, a Cradilly, and a Cacturn. Now, before we get started, if you're excited for this as much as I am, I, there's no way you're not, you're excited as much as I am, trust me. Uh, but anyway, if you guys are excited and you want to know what's going on, you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button. It means so much. The likes really keep the confidence level going and the drive to go and do more. Please, if you really like what you share, or if you like what you, if you like what you see, share it. Get someone else. Bring someone into the community. Let's make it grow. Hopefully, you guys will learn something today. Um, I, I learn something every time I look and assess what I'm doing with a certain Pokemon or not. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it. I don't know what music I'm gonna put behind this because I'm gonna have to do that in editing because I'm using this as the microphone and the headphones. So if I try to play music in the background, come to the headphones and I can't hear anything. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, in you, Pokemon. Alright, so first, right off the bat, we are going to start with Scyther. That's what we're going to do. Scyther. Uh, he is LC Ubers. What? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Smogon, I just I just checked it on the on, on the internet. Smogon uh, puts him, tags him as in you. So we're gonna keep going with it. If something's different, so be it. He's still a Scyther. Then we'll just drop the in you tag and we'll say break down these three Pokemon. But here's our Scyther. Now I do something a little bit different with Scyther. A lot of people might run. Uh, I don't know what a lot of people might run. You don't see a lot of Scythers. So I can't really say I do something different. But I've been told my Scyther's weird. That's why he's being featured on a Blowfish Breakdown, because my Scyther's weird. So our whole item for our Scyther is going to be the good old Eviolite, because he is not the last... Um, he is not the, the last... He's not the last Pokemon in his evolution line. Now, if the older species can evolve, its defense and special defense are 1.5. That's why we're holding the EV light to boost his defenses because they're not bad. They're not horrible. As you can see over here, it's pretty. It's, it's good and good. Let's see, defenses is 80 and 80. They're both even, so that's going to put them both up to 120. Now, base stat defenses at 120 is not a bad thing. His HP could be a little higher, but so so be it. Now, we're going to get to that though. We're going to get to that. His ability is going to be steadfast. It's his hidden ability, uh, it's a little difficult to come by, but the dex nav makes it very easy to do in Pokemon Horus. Now, steadfast is going to be, if this Pokemon flinches, its speed is boosted by one stage. If you didn't know what that is, uh, Mega Mewtwo X, I think it's X. Mega Mewtwo X has steadfast, and if you flinch, you get a speed boost from it. It's it's absolutely fantastic, uh, because I, I... I don't know. I just I don't really like Swarm. It's never really worked out for me. I can see where it would be uh, where the draw would be because but it's it's stabbed obviously so it does 1.5 uh, plus the stab so that takes it to one I, I don't know a lot more a technician is you, no you don't need to carry less a move less than 60 HP unless it's a status move but oh but it includes struggle okay well okay I can almost see that maybe no but you know we're still gonna stick with steadfast because that's what I do that's exactly how we have it uh, our first move as a Scyther, it's going to be Quick Attack, because because we can. Um, it's priority, it's it's not super priority, it's only plus one priority, but it is priority. Uh, our second move, i got to check down on my notes because I don't remember exactly, I don't have my DS in front of me, Swords Dance. Now we run the Swords Dance because we have the Eviolite, and in its tier, an Eviolite Scyther with the EV spread we're going to have can actually hang in there and do some work. So the sword stance is if you get a little greedy and you've got some time, if you know you've got some time, run that sword stance, boost our attack, because Scyther's attack base stat is 110. And that's that's a respectable attack. 
So that's why we got a sword stance there. We're going to immediately, right in one move, get double uh, by two stages. Our third... Oh, I just looked at Cactor, and that's not... You can't put... So anyway, Air Slash. Because we are bug flying. Air Slash. There it is. It, uh, we run Air Slash because if you look right here... Uh, base power 75, 95% accuracy, and it's got a high PB number. We can do that a lot of times. There's a 30% chance to flinch the target. It's not 100% accurate, but so be it. That's what you get for the flinch. Um, I, I just said we're bug flying. Did I just lie, or are we bug normal? No, okay, bug flying. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Put this back down here. Sorry about that. Uh, we are bug flying, so we got our first stab move is air slash. Our second stab move is either going to be U-turn or X-scissor. It really depends on what I do uh, and, and what I'm doing. X-scissor is 80 and 100 with no additional effect, but the U-turn really, uh, the U, blah, blah, U-turn 70, 100, and we get the switch out, and it's, uh, it's also stabbed. So that puts it at one... 105 base power, whatever. Or just, it's, it's easier to say 100. So it puts it at, uh oh, did I stop? No, it's still recording. It puts it at uh, 100 base power for that, or for X Scissor. Uh, X Scissor is an additional effect. U turn gets the initiative. So I think it would probably be more recommended to run the U turn just because you get the initiative and you've got your flinch here and your super sword stance and your quick attack. So U turn is probably the best bet. Now going on to the EV spread. There's a couple ways to do this with the Eviolite. You can set it up with base HP, crank, you can crank his HP up, and crank up his attack. Because you have the Eviolite, so you have room to do that, and Eviolite takes care of what would be boosted uh, to get a defensive Scyther. Now, that's not what I do. What I do with my Scyther is I take it, and I run it somewhere in here. I don't know the exact numbers, but somewhere in here... And I take my defense, and I boost them both. Both my defenses get boosted the same. Um, we get a lot of HP boost. And we get a good chunk of of uh, defense and special. I'm sorry, I started stuttering and looking at what I was doing again, trying to get the numbers right. Pretend these two are even. Just pretend they are. I promise they are. Um, because I, I take turns alternating between the two of them. His speed, we don't have to worry about that, uh, because he's got a Pretty, pretty doggone fast speed for his tier, and he's got steadfast ability. So if we flinch, we get a, a 1.5, and that's going to put us at a buck 50, which is really going to be super fast. Um, anyway, like I said, you can set this up: defense and special defense both get boosted the same, and then HP gets boosted up as well. That's how I've got it uh, because he is in there to be the defensive whatever because he's got the EV light. Now you can you can boost. One or the other. You can boost HP and physical defense. You can boost HP and special defense. It's it's really all what you want to do if you want a bulky Scyther. I just boost special defense and defense and HP. Um, oh, oh, oh. His nature. Okay, the nature. Uh, the nature, I go adamant. I do. Because that's going to give us our attack boost. And our special attack goes down. And it doesn't affect our defenses and our HPs. So now that we've gone through Scyther in freaking six minutes of time, uh, we're going to move on to our next Pokemon, which is going to be the Cradilly. Now, I really like Cradilly. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with it at first because I've missed a lot of generations before I jumped back in here. So Cradilly, the first time I faced it was against Wrath of Slowbro, and it wrecked me because I had absolutely no idea what to do with it. Um, I had no idea what its typing was, anything like that. Uh, Cradilly, you can either hold the Assault Vest or the Leftovers. Now, I say Assault Vest because Cradilly, uh, oops, as you can see here, is a special defense. That is its highest stat. So what we're going to do, we're going to set it up with an Assault Vest because that's what I run on mine, or what I will be running when I get mine running on my NU team. Uh, and we also run Storm Drain. Now, with Storm Drain, uh, the Pokemon is going to draw all the water moves to itself to boost its special attack by one, and we also are immune to all water moves, even after we get all of our special attack boosts. Now, obviously, to draw the water to itself, it has to be on the field. So if it's in a double-triple battle, it'll draw the moves to itself. No big deal. Uh, but if it's on the field by itself, and it gets hit with Surf, Aqua Jet, Water Pulse, Bubble, whatever, any water move at all, 
we're going to get a special attack boost, which is good because we're also a special attacker. Well, we, that's what we're going to set it up to be. It's 81 and 81 for physical and special. Uh, it's really a versatile Pokemon. All these Pokemon I'm, I've got out here are pretty versatile. Um, and what you're going to do, the Scyther, the Creole, and the Cactor, and I think I'll have two stats that are at least even. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> okay, we've, we've tackled the Pokemon, the I Hold item, and the ability. Now we're going to move on to our move set. Uh, our move set, what I typically run on the Credilli is going to be uh, Mega Drain, because I went through the list and it said I couldn't learn Giga Drain, so I'm going to have to kick Giga Drain for Mega Drain, because it re the user recovers 50% of the damage you deal. Now, it's only 40%, but if you do this on a Swampert or something like that, it's going to have a whole lot of HP health, and it's it's really, it's your, 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 your special wall is what Credil is what I use a Credilly for is a special wall because that's my first experience with what it could be used for and it stuck with me. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have this HP recovering move uh, and the assault vest. Now, with coupled with the HP recovering move, you could also do leftovers for the maximum recovery each turn. However, later on in the move set, we are gonna be running recover. So th with the assault vest and recover, there's really no reason for the leftovers when you have the Mega Drain. Uh, I need to click on Mega Drain so we can move on. The second move, Gastro Acid. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think we can use this with the Assault Vest. So, Gastro Acid would be, have to be run with, um, I can't think of it, with the leftovers. I get in front of the camera and I go completely blank. I need to sit up straight. So, if we run Gastro Acid, we are going to have to run the leftovers. Um, I like Gastro Acid because, well, I don't know if you saw that, it nullifies the target's ability. So, if you have a Pokemon with Levitate, you hit it with Gastro Acid, then you can hit it with a ground type move. Um, if you have a Pokemon with, uh, if you're going up against a Shedinja, it's got Wonder Guard, and you hit it with Gastro Acid, you don't have, you can hit it with anything after that because it completely nullifies the ability. I've seen that done. I have. And it was fantastic. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't turn to the left and cough because I'm still here. <laughs> turn to the left and cough. Um, I had a complete brain fart. Oh, instead of gastro acid. Now, instead of gastro acid, we could run... Um, we'll think about it later because our next move is grass knot. Not grass knot. Grass knot. Grass knot. Um... You could probably run a Hidden Power Grass and place a Gastro Acid just because it's stabbed. Um, or maybe Ancient Power because that's also stabbed. So instead of Gastro Acid, we'll run Ancient Power with the Assault Vest. The Grass Knot is more power, the heavier the target. That one's pretty obvious. Uh, it always hits. It is what it is. Well, it's 100%. Um, so instead of Gastro Acid, here's Ancient Power just for the sake of having it in here. Ancient Power. 10% chance to boost all stats by... One. However, that's not going to happen because we're running the Assault Vest. And I can tell you for a fact, you don't get the additional uh, stat boosts if you're running the Assault Vest because it can only use damaging moves. And it doesn't... It it, it, it worked like that on my Metagross. I would never get the attack boost on my Assault Vest Metagross, which was a weird setup. Even I think that was weird. But I never get the attack boost with uh, Meteor Mash. Fourth and finally is our Recover, just like I promised. Because, no, not Recover. Recover. Because we're running the assault vest, and we need—it's a special wall, so we need to be able to get uh, half our HP back in. Our nature is gonna be calm, and I say calm. There it is, because it's plus special defense minus attack. And since we have this boosted in special defense, natured for special defense, and assault vested, we have special defense out the wazoo, and we're also gonna boost up our HP because that's what you do with defensive walls. Any Pokemon built to be a wall and be bulky, you have to put HP in there. Um, <clears throat> now, see, this one is uh, special attack HP and special defense, but we're going to make sure it's extra, extra bulky. Uh, that's the suggested spread. We're going to do that, and then the other plus four is going to go into the special attack, or plus eight. Whoops. Crank that down. Uh, I know, details, 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 right? But that's what we're going to do. So we get 252 on HP, 4 on special attack, and 252 on the special defense. And that's that. You know, let's make him shiny. Whoa. Whoa, I don't like that. No. I don't like that at all. 
Okay, last but not least, Cacturn. We're going to try to keep these a little shorter and make them maybe three Pokemon, maybe four tops. Uh, we are going to get rid of Sandvale. Uh, first off, Cacturn. Look over here. Look over here. Super frail. Defense and special defense are 60, HP is 70. He's not going to take a lot. Maybe from his own tier, but if you try to battle him outside of his tier, he's not going to take a hit from anybody. So, much like a Gengar, we're going to run a Focus Sash. And in place of Sandville, we're going to run Water Absorb. Uh, so we these are actually a little three set of Pokemon that are super, super, super... Not effective, but resistant to water. Uh, this Pokemon heals a quarter of its max HP when hit by water moves. We also gain the water immunity. That was explained earlier, uh, so I don't think I need to go through it again. Now, a Cacturn. This is exactly what I use Cacturn for. It's what he's for. I do not try to preserve him. He's out there to do his thing and be done with it. So this is how we're going to set up our Cacturn. Uh, first slot. Swords Dance. Guaranteed every time because we have the focus sash. Now, because we we know we can't be hit in one in one turn um, if with the focus sash, that's why we can get a sword stance off. Now, secondly, after that, sucker punch. I don't even really care what happens after the sword stance, sucker punch, and with a cacturn within his tier is lethal until somebody puts something out there or switches out on you or does a status move or a condition move or whatever it is because. Uh, it fails. The, st the Sucker Punch will fail if the target is not attacking. If they Will-O-Wisp you, if they Calm Mind, if they do anything that's not going to inflict damage on you, Sucker Punch fails. However, it has priority, it's super strong, it stabs, that puts it at 120. 120 base uh, damage from a Cacturn when it's stabbed, plus you got the Sword Stance in, and it's got priority. So, that's that's super huge. Cacturn ends up being a, a mid-game sweeper. You've got a couple people worn down. You can't really you can't really go out there and sweep with Cacturn from the start because of his EV spread. But uh, but once you get a few of them worn down to three quarters HP or less, throw the Cacturn out there, Sword Stance, Sucker Punch, and it usually cannot be touched unless you've got someone who really really knows what they're doing. Now, in addition to the Sword Stance, Sucker Punch combo, just in case. You know, absolutely know you can live a third hit, or you know you outspeed, and you just want to get some super amount of damage off. Here we have Dynamic Punch, which is fantastic. It's 50% accuracy. 50% accuracy. But, 100% chance to confuse the target. So you get damage, a good chunk of damage, 100% chance to confuse the target, but only 50% accuracy. Now, I, I know it's a risk, but like I said, if you know you're going out and you can do it and you think you can land it, why not? Especially if you're going up against something that's got no guard. Um, it's it's really good on a Machamp, because um, Machamp has no guard, so he always hits. So that move's probably best on a Machamp, but it's something you can play with. It's the third move slot, and the fourth move slot is going to be Seed Bomb. Uh, because it's stabbed, it's physical, and it's powerful, <coughs> all things considered. Now, Dynamic Punch, like I said, you can play with something else. I don't really think... I haven't really thought about anything. Um, there you go, Destiny Bond. Well, well I'm going to change it to Destiny Bond, because you're down, you know what's going. If you know you're faster, which you're probably not going to be, because he's pretty slow, but if you know you're faster, then then so be it. Now, to go with the Destiny Bond, is act, which is actually much better, we are going to boost our attack, because he's a physical attacker. We're going to boost our speed... Just so we might have a chance at outspeeding something. Just anything. Anything at all. And HP is going to be plus 4 because we don't know where else to put it, obviously. As always. And adamant. Adamant because it's plus attack. We're trying to get as much attack as we can. We have priority. He's out there to sweep. Left and right fast. As fast as he can. Sweep. Um, is that it? Is that it for Cacturn? Did I do everything? Yeah, I think I did. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed. Um, we kept this one under 20 minutes, except for the outro is going to take us over 20. But the last one was like a half hour, so that's good I guess. Uh, if you guys like received stuck to the end, uh, let me start over. If you liked what you saw and you stuck through to the end, please 
hit that like button, show me some love, follow me here, or subscribe here, follow me on Tumblr and Twitter, I'll try to put the links in the description, I know I forget a lot, but I'll try my best, uh, I'm super stoked about having new equipment, I got this, I'm gonna be sending out for the capture card pretty soon, I know I say that all the time, but I'm really gonna be doing it pretty soon, and uh, I will see you guys next time, thank you for watching.